When I was 11, nearly 12 years old, when the winter has passed, the nature has been awakened, and the spring has begun, I have suddenly started to uh, burn with desire to start engaging in bird watching. You know, in my deep past, I was fond of some zoological TV shows, and of course it was my dream to have the similar experience as the broadcast ahead. But I had one little detail. I had no ability to move somewhere in the Brazilian jungle to film uh, Heaven Bird. So I decided to buy this camera and uh, check the Udi River coast to see whether some near the water birds are there. I have made nice photos and my first experience of bird watching gave my joy to me. So everything was okay. I was having my little expeditions for seasons a year. I uh, was contacting with some professional ornithologists and photographers on the internet. But uh, everything changed cardinally and very fast. I have noticed that uh, every year in the summer the amount of birds you could see here gets very very less. Uh, and it gets less I mean that now you could uh, see in August only a few ducks in the river. The cause of it was high air pollution level. Some species just could not live in such containment system. When I have uh, understood it, I have suddenly turned interested in fixing the situation. On the internet, I have found that there was already a project of uh, placing air filters on this uh, CHP5 tube in Kharkiv, but it was cancelled several times. I don't know if this project may exist now, so I didn't look forward to fixing and solving the entire problem. I have decided to use it. Firstly, I decided to ask my father, who is a physicist. You know, <laughs> his grandma always told me that uh, what this high education will give uh, in your life. Better learn on a cook after the ninth grade. You may not uh, starve to death anyway. Um, to be not to be unhonest, she told me the same. But uh, let's return. Uh, we have picked the most optimal uh, variant of using uh, air pollution processes for the common profit. It's the Stirling engine. I uh, may uh, know that someone already heard of it, but um, I don't know if uh, anyone could explain its working principle. So I will do it. Very simple. The Stirling engine firstly doesn't uh, need any fuel poured in it. It needs pure heat, which is used as the resource of the energy. The heat energy, which is being converted into mechanical work, and it can be converted into maybe electric energy or, so, or something else. Uh, and just cold, which is cooling the engine. Where can we get the heat? Of course, from the smoke, uh, which is being produced uh, from any uh, factory or a power plant. Where can we get the cold? We can get it from the strong, cold winter wind. So. The steering engine must be placed uh, right inside the tube. There comes a reasonable question. Why should we use the steering engine? I have some answers on this question. Uh, firstly, steering engine, uh, have you heard before, isn't my invention. It was invented nearly 200 years ago and, of course, it was tested by time. Secondly, return to the first advantage it rarely breaks and may work for 100,000 hours without stopping working. And the last, that it is the most important for us, it is highly ecological. Because of its working principle, it doesn't produce any blowouts. In addition, it is not noisy. Even if you will stand like in 3 meters from it, you even may not uh, hear it working. The last, which I have to say, is not about the ecology or even the engine. Don't be lazy. Yeah, I know that uh, it is very simple, but we often forget about it. We say to ourselves that hmm, I'm a too simple person for it, or someone will do it instead of me. I think that um, no one is uh, too simple when he has a certain will and target. He won't give up after the first problem he faced, so I did when I have learned that I will have no ability to solve the entire problem. If you want to save the planet now, will your kids have a healthy future?